nothing else bad to happen to her. I don't want her life to, to extinguish. I'm not going to lie either. I'm angry about her family. Very angry. I know people have personal lives. I get that. But there's no reason why her friend, her friends, show up more than the family has. Shout out to the friends who've done everything they could. I am angry at the family. I'm not getting any assistance in this. I'm not asking it should be offered. This is just the truth. You know I'm struggling. Just to make sure the lights stay on. Paying the rent. <clears throat> but I'll get a text message. Up mother in law. Is that how it goes? Asking how she is, asking how I am, and telling her I love you and blow her a kiss for me. Same mode, same, same setup. <laughs> On a schedule of every two to three weeks. People seem to overlook. When you are a stroke patient, it takes more. When she came down here anyway looking for her family, she wanted a connection with her father. It worked for a little while, then it didn't work, then it worked again, and then it really ultimately didn't work. I don't know, maybe two opposing theories about who's your child in that one household, but I, I don't know. I don't know why. But one thing I am, I am honest. I have nothing else to, to run and hide behind. I, I don't care if no one else in the family ever helps me ever again for any reason or tries to even associate with us. As long as I have charity and she's okay, I can give a damn about the rest of the world. And this is just my honest truth. I got a few friends who are struggling. Here's why I don't reach out to them because I know their struggle. But there's other few friends who just haven't even stepped in. How you doing? Nothing. That stress level builds over time. And I feel like Charity feels like she can feel my stress. So she stresses out more. And it makes her more and more sick. She gets fevers every couple of days. But if it doesn't hit over a 101, no one really cares. They'll give her a pill, notify the doctor. Do a blood culture in your analysis. They know it's up here, but no one wants to go up here to figure out what the fuck is going on. The neurologist says, might be, might be fluid that's still circulating up there in the brain. And I'm like, well, that doesn't, okay, what, what the hell does that mean? I'm getting a lot of tests, but no results. I need to know what the results are. So I can put my, I can devise a plan. Now, they want to have a family meeting. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow at noon. What this means is the hospital is ready to dump charity. <clears throat> and they know I'm not going to put her in the, uh, what is it called? Orlando Regional Rehab Center close to Paramore. One is close to the hood, which I don't, I don't really normally mind. I don't care. It's being gentrified anyway, so white people living all up in that shit. Um, 
but you can see the radio. I've been to the clinic. I've been to the to this rehab center, and it looks like shit. But it's the only long-term care facility. Are you t that's what you're trying to tell me? It's the only long-term care facility that's willing to take her. Not my problem. And any that's too far away that I can't see her, unless they are a major place like Brooks Medical. So I'm willing to let her go to Jacksonville, and I can go up to Jacksonville every every couple of hours, every couple of weeks, every weekend actually. Just drive up there and go, um, you know, and see her, check on her. But it'll feel it'll feel empty. It's nothing like me wanting to check on her every day, like I do. Once I got that ability to bring her home to check on her every day, you can't go backwards. So I told him to go ahead and open up the search for the entire state. Come back to me in 48 hours and see what you got. But I know this is supposed to be a gang up on one person. But I fought tougher people in the streets. For being a nerdy black guy, I've been I've been jumped by worse. So I'll definitely go up in here tomorrow ready to fight man's job is to protect his wife. I'm not going to fold because six, seven, or eight other people with uh, $600,000 loan debt are telling me I should do something. I've never been that type of person. So I just wanted to give y'all an update on a few other things, but I'm, you know, I am making a documentary about all of this. It's not, it's not super long. It's just going to explain everything from head to toe. A lot of the behind the scenes crap that you, you know you don't most people are too afraid to admit or talk about. I'm going to put in. I just want charity back. If I can just get her mind back, the most that's the most important thing for me. I don't care about her walking. We can deal with all that later. But if I right now, I just take her talking and responding to the basic commands that she responds to right now. I just want her to talk, to hear her say "I love you" too, or "I love you more." <laughs> still fighting. Our wedding rings, our bands are etched and mine says, we will figure this out, dot, dot, dot. And hers says, dot, 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 we always do. This is the biggest hurdle we've ever had to jump, the biggest boss of the biggest world in any video game that we've ever had to play. And for the first time in a while, I really do feel like we're it's we're not, we don't have the advantage, we don't have all the tools necessary. So 